Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. We give God glory and honor and praise. He is worthy to be praised. Bless the name of the Lord Most High. Glory to the Most High God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless your name, Lord. We give you thanks, Lord, for your mercy endure forever. We just bless your name tonight and we give you thanks always in all seasons. We have every reason to give God thanks and praise. Glory to the Most High God. Father, we just reverence your sovereignty. We worship you tonight and worship you always in mind, body, and spirit, in word, deed, and thought. We want to always give you the glory, the honor, and the praise because you alone are worthy to be praised, lifted up, and exalted. Hallelujah. There's none like you, Lord, none like you in the heaven and in the earth. Hallelujah. We bless your name and we give you glory. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Lord, wash us and cleanse us. Sanctify us, Lord, again. Lord, make us holy, make us right. Make us clean in your sight. As only you can, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us together again, Lord. You are worthy of our glory, honor, and praise. Thank you for this new day. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's give God glory and honor and give God thanks that he brought us to November 28th, hallelujah, 2021. Some people didn't make it this far. We got to give God thanks. We got to give God praise. We got to give God the glory, the honor, and the praise because he alone deserves it. Hallelujah. He kept us. He kept us up to this very hour. Hallelujah. Some people not here no more. We're still here in the land of the living. Let's give God some praise. Let's give God some glory. Let's give God some thanks. Because he deserves it. Without him, we are nothing. Without him, we can do nothing. Without God, we can do, do nothing in our own strength and in our own power and our own might. We need the might and the power and the strength of Jesus Christ to be victorious over all things in life. And to have life and have it more abundantly. Let's give God thanks and praise. Because he alone is worthy of the glory, the honor, and the praise. Father, we thank you for healing. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for all that you're doing for us and our family members. We thank you, Lord, for healing is the children's bread. It's the bread that we eat. We eat healing. We drink healing. We, we live healing. We make healing a part of our being. Hallelujah. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive all that you need from the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is your King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He's here to bring you through all your situations that you're crying out to him for. He hears your voice. He hears you crying out to him. As you surrender, as you repent, as you lay before him, he hears you. He knows your situations. He knows your needs. He knows what you have need of this very hour and second. Reach out and touch the Lord. 
as he's passing by you'll find he's not too busy to hear your hearts cry he's passing by this moment and he'll heal you right there where you are on your bed of affliction he'll heal you cry out to Jesus cry out to the Lord for what you need cry out to God from the depths of your soul and give him thanks in all seasons because all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose God has called you according to his purpose yield to his unchanging hand reach out to him he hears you he'll touch you he'll deliver you he'll set you free He'll open up doors that no man can shut. And he'll shut doors that no man can open. Nothing can get in the way of what God has for you. Nothing can stop what God has for you. Everything he gave you is for his honor, his glory, and his praise. Tell him thank you. Tell God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness and thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your joy. Tell God, thank you. Thank you, God, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord. We come back to say thank you. Thank you for every deliverance for us and our family members. Thank you for every healing for us and our family members and all those concerning us. Friends, family, loved ones. Thank you, God. We come back to say thank you. We come back to give you glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Every day is thanksgiving to us. Every day we give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endure forever. Thank you, God. Thank you for the healings. Thank you for the deliverances. We pray for all that's sick right now and suffering. And we give you thanks for their healing. We give you thanks for their deliverance. Thank you, God. Thank you for all those that are leaving mental institutions right now. Thank you for all those that are leaving the hospital institutions and nursing homes, going home to their homes, to their loved ones, Lord, healed and delivered in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all those you brought through surgery and they came out healing, skipping, jumping and shouting, saying, thank you, Lord, for the healing and the deliverance that you have given unto them, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you touch those doctors and nurses and medical staff to be able to touch people and that your healing went through them. As they touch those people, ministering to them, ministering to the sick, they was healed and delivered and they went home. We thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for all those who went home that were in those institutions this week. That was able to go home and spend time with their loved ones. That was able to give you thanks. That was able to give you glory and honor and praise, Lord. Because you are the omnipotent God. You are the all-powerful God. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We bring thanks unto you, Lord. And glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for it all. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for coming on in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Sister Claudette Black and Sister Norma Brown and anyone else that's on. I can't see your names on the screen for some reason, but I thank you for all who is on. And I thank you for coming on in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed, be delivered and happy Thanksgiving every single day of your life. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Hallelujah. We give thanks to, to God. We give glory to God. We give praise to God for all that he did. He did a lot. He did a lot for us. A lot. 
He gave his all for us. We got to give him thanks. He died on the cross for us. We got to give him thanks. He healed our bodies, minds, and spirit. We got to give him thanks. He allowed us to be alive today on the earth in the land of the living. We got to give him thanks. Thank you, Lord. Look for the minutest, smallest thing and say, thank you, Lord, that we have breath of life in our bodies. We have a roof over our head. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Jesus, that we can walk and skip and jump and shout. Lord, and for those who can't walk and skip and jump and shout, they got something to give you thanks for. They're alive. they in the land of the living. For that, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you thanks, Lord. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you for the healings and the deliverances that went forth today. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I greet everyone in the name of Jesus under the sound of my voice. God bless you all. We give thanks to the Lord for all things work together for good for all of us because we love the Lord. Isn't it nice to love the Lord? Isn't it a wonderful life to be in loving the Lord? Hallelujah. The blessings of the Lord make it us rich and with it added no sorrow. We are not sorrowful. But we are grateful and we are thankful. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to go turn our Bibles to Luke chapter 17. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Turn your Bibles to Luke chapter 17. Hallelujah. And we're going to start at verse 11 and we're going to go to verse 19. We're not going to be long. Hallelujah. And it came to pass. This is verse chapter 17 of the book of Luke, verse 11 through 19. And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem. That's Jesus going to Jerusalem. That he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee and as he entered into a certain village there met him ten men that were lepers which stood afar off you see the lepers were unclean and they had to stand afar off from him and anybody because they were considered to be contagious and unclean and they stood, these ten lepers stood afar off looking at Jesus as he was passing through their village. Hallelujah. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. They lifted up their voice, crying out to Jesus to have mercy on them. Hallelujah. They called him master. They called him by his name. They said, Jesus. They cried out, Jesus. They called him their master. Hallelujah. And they said, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, go show yourselves unto the priest. And it came to pass. That as they went, they were cleansed. He told them to go to the priests and show themselves to the priests. The priests had no power or authority to heal the lepers. The lepers stayed sick all that time until Jesus passed by their village. They couldn't get their healing in the synagogues from the priests. So they stood by in the village waiting for Jesus to pass by so they could get healed. So they could ask the true healer, the true deliverer for their healing. Hallelujah. Who knows how long they were sick with this leprosy and how long they went into the synagogues 
trying to get their healing, trying to get their deliverances, but it never happened. But they heard about a man named Jesus, Jesus Christ, and they knew he was the master of all. Hallelujah. And they knew he had the power to heal. And they waited for Jesus to come to their village. They stood there, all 10 of them, waiting for Jesus to pass by. And when he did, they called out to him with a loud voice. And they asked him to have mercy on them. And Jesus did. Jesus gave them a command. He told them to go show yourself to the priests. And they did it. They obeyed what the Lord told them to do. They walked over to the priest and showed themselves to the priest. Just as Jesus told them to do. He didn't go lay hands on them or anything. He gave them a command with authority and told them to go show yourselves to the priest. To those same priests that could not heal you in the synagogues. Show yourself to them. And as they went. Hallelujah. The Bible says that as they went, they were healed. They were cleansed. As they were going towards those priests to show them what Jesus had told them to do, they got their healing. In the obedience, they got their healing. As they were proceeding to go to show themselves to the priests, they got cleansed. So that by the time they reached to the priest to show the priest that they was cleansed, all that leprosy had them fell off their body. They were completely healed and cleansed. Hallelujah. And, 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 and those priests had to be amazed at what they saw. Hallelujah. And verse 15 says, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Only one of them out of the ten turned back to glorify God and to give God thanks and fell down on his face at his feet giving him thanks and he was a Samaritan. This one Samaritan turned back to go tell Jesus thank you. This one Samaritan. Turned back. To go tell Jesus thank you. And to bow down before Jesus. And Jesus had no dealings with the Samaritans. Because the Jews had no dealings with the Samaritans. But this one Samaritan. Came back to thank Jesus. For healing him. Who was considered. Not worthy to come before the presence of Jesus Christ. Because he was a Samaritan. And the Samaritan has no dealings with the Jewish people. So Jesus was a Jewish man and therefore he was not to have any dealings with the Samaritans. But he dealt with that Samaritan. And those other ten, I don't know if they were Samaritans. But the Bible says that this one Samaritan came back to say thank you. Those nine other people who was lepers did not come back to say thank you. Those nine were not grateful. They just went on about their way. They took the healing and kept on moving. But this one Samaritan, when he realized that he was healed and cleansed, he turned back to say thank you because he was grateful. He was grateful to God what he did for him. And he came back to give thanks to the Savior who cleansed his body, healed his body, took away that uncleanness from him that the priest couldn't do. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. He was cleansed. Hallelujah. And Jesus answering said, we're not there, not ten cleansed. But where are the nine? Jesus said he, he cleansed ten of them. But where are the nine? Only one came back to give respect and honor to the Savior who cleansed them. Only one came back 
to bow down on their knees to say, thank you, Lord, for what you did for me. The other nine, where were they? Hallelujah. Verse 18 says, there are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. Only one came back to give Jesus Christ thanks. And he was a stranger. He wasn't his friend. He wasn't his neighbor. He wasn't his family member. He was a stranger. And Jesus Christ healed him. Jesus Christ cleansed him. And he came back and returned to say thank you. We have to know in our hearts that when God does something for us in our lives, we have to remember to give him glory, to give him honor, to give him thanks, to give him praise, to honor him, to give him the credit. Hallelujah. What man can't do for you, Christ can do for you. Jesus Christ can do what no man can do for you. And we must give him thanks. We must not give the thank you to the human beings in our lives, but we must give the thank you to Jesus Christ who used the human beings to help us. Hallelujah. We must remember that we thank those, the vessels he used, but we give the glory and the honor and the praise and the thank you to God. Because God, without God, none of it could happen in our lives. No transformations, no deliverances, no healings, no victories. Jesus Christ is the one that is the power in our lives. And we must remember to always give him the glory, always give him the honor, always give him the praise. Hallelujah. Don't forget to say thank you, Lord. Don't ever forget to, to give God thanks. Don't ever forget to give the glory, the honor, and the praise to God every time he, he touches you, every time he changes something in your life, every time he brings you through mightily, every time he performs a miracle in your life. Don't forget to give him thanks. Don't forget to, forget to give him thanks every morning when he wakes you up, when you open up your eyes and you get up off your bed to go about your day. Don't forget to give him thanks. At the end of the day, don't forget to give him thanks. Throughout your day, don't forget to give him thanks because it's him that's bringing us through the day. It's him that's allowing us to have breath of life in our body throughout the day to be able to wake up every day to have another day to bring glory and honor and praise to him. Hallelujah. And he said unto him in verse 19 to this, this leper that was cleansed, the stranger that was cleansed and healed, he said to him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. His faith made him whole. He believed. He asked God to have mercy. All ten of them did. They asked God to have mercy. And he told them what to do. And they believed. They did it. They acted out on their belief. He said, go, show yourself to the priest. And as they were going, they got their healing. Soon as they stepped out in faith to do what the Lord said, their obedience commanded the blessing to come into their lives. But only one stranger came back to tell Jesus, thank you for the blessing. Thank you for the cleansing. Thank you for the healing. And Jesus Christ said his faith has made him whole. That Samaritan, that stranger, he came back to Jesus and kneeled before Jesus Christ to say thank you. And Jesus said that his faith made him whole. He told him to arise. He elevated him. See, those others, the other nine didn't come back and say thank you. So they didn't receive that elevation that that stranger, that one leper that came back to say thank you for the cleansing. He received the elevation from Christ. Christ Jesus told him to arise. He raised him up. And told him that his faith made him whole. Our faith makes us whole. 
Our obedience commands the blessing. When we obey the word of the Lord and we step out in faith and obedience, we receive the blessing. We receive the healing. We receive the deliverance. We walk in the victory. And we come back and we say, thank you, God. And we arise to that next level in Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening and thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless you. Thanksgiving is every single day. Happy Thanksgiving every single day. God bless you and your families. May the Lord continue to heal you and to, and to bring you to that place where you need to be in him. May you arise to that next level in Christ as you obey him in faith. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you all and have a wonderful week in the name of Jesus. Thank you for coming on, each and every one of you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Have a wonderful week. Good night.